I will give you another download to save you time. Again, for free, you can just select all the text styles and basically paste them in their project and that will basically load them. So I'll just place this somewhere here. And then I'm just gonna take out these texts and I'm gonna retype them using the font style I wanna use, which is gonna match the dimension style that I used earlier. So I believe the dimension style we switched to, I'm gonna select one of the dimensions and then I'm gonna look on the right side. So it's the 64. So I will match with this dimension style, at least like the name essentially, because the way I named them, like I mentioned earlier, is that based on the scale, based on the scale factor, this value is actually the scale factor I'm using to make it uh, work for this particular scale. Uh, so that's like the rationale behind it. But anyway, I'm gonna match it. I will switch the the current text style um, to, to the one that is 64. So I'll click on this window. And then from here, I'll select this one. I will right click and I will set it current. So that way now when I add text, it all comes out in this style. Another location you can use to actually switch the current text style or the current dimension style is actually from the properties window on the right side. So here you can see it says like, what is the current text style? When you have nothing selected in the drawing, the properties window actually shows you like, what are the current uh, different settings that are we using for the different objects we're creating. So the text is from here, you can switch the current to another one, you can switch the dimension to another one, but again, we're gonna keep them the same. And I just wanted to highlight this, this is like a quick way. It is actually faster to switch it from here versus going to the, uh, to the text style window or the dimension style window. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the text again, and I will start the text command, type T, start the window dialog box. And then from here, I'm gonna type to car, garage i do want to highlight something from the top you've probably seen it but you can you can actually change the alignment of the text um, that you are typing from here uh, and this window only appears when you are basically typing a text or editing a text so i'll switch this there's also the option to switch the height from here to switch the style the font then you can do um, like make it bold italic and so on there's a couple more options but i won't cover them but anyway this is like another thing you can do with the text and then to finish it, I'm gonna click outside the box to finish editing. Now what I will do is do a few copies of this text and I will use the copy command CO. And then I'm gonna basically, if, if I hover over the text, you will see like the control point comes out from the corner. I think there's a few for the text. So I guess this one, these ones are the node points. So there should be, I, I believe there's four. But anyway, it really doesn't matter for the text because I'm just gonna click anywhere anyway, and then just to place it, because I'm not trying to place it like in an exact uh, like geographic location. I'm just trying to copy it visually and then just place it here, okay? And then um, to edit the text now, that's the next command. All you need to do is just to select the text element that you want to edit, and then you can type text edit, and that will show you this command right here. So I'll select it. And then here I'm gonna call the space washer dryer. I do want to add a frame around the text that I'm creating for the room names. Uh, so there is actually a setting for that. Uh, it's not within the, the text style itself. That's, I remember it's not there. Yeah, I don't see it here. Mm, yeah, none of these. So basically the way to do it, I'll just click uh, cancel. So the way to do it is actually you can select the text. And then from the right side where it says properties, uh, you will see it's not here. Uh, so by default, it doesn't show like in this like list of properties. If you see here on the top where I am right now and I'm clicking, you will see that this one says like my properties or my list of properties, but there's an icon beside it, another tab. And if you click that, it will show you like a full list of properties for this particular element since it's a text element so we do have a lot of uh, settings related to text in general um, and then from here under text when you select it you will see there's a like toggle or like a radio button where you can just check it and then that will add a text frame around your text now i'm going to resize this text frame a little bit so it's really based on the dialog box size so i'm just gonna uh, modify it by using the control point and then this control point allows me to move it uh, this one will switch basically the dialog box down, but for now we're happy. I mean, I'm happy with what I have here. And then I'm going to also do the same for this one. So I'll do the same. I'll go to all. And then from here, I'm going to find text frame and do it 
I'll just show you another way how you can do both of them. I'm just gonna do undo uh, like this, couple couple uh, undos, and then I'll just select both of them essentially first, and then I will go to the properties, then select text frame, and now I have both of them. All I need to do now is just to modify the dialog box for both of them. I'll do this like this, and then I'll just move this one to the right using the move command, and then this one, you already saw the move command of typing M and then start and return and I can do that. And now I'll just go ahead and copy, copy this text to multiple locations and basically add all the room names. So now I went ahead and just added basically all of them and I'll give you a quick tour of the space. So we have the two car garage here, planning to do a washer dryer. I do want the washer dryer access to be like from within the house versus the the garage. So I'll actually, I'll actually erase these uh, and then this one will modify it. And then here, I guess we can, uh, we can erase this one like this. I'll just do like a quick modification to make this layout work a little bit. And I also realized, and I also realized I don't have, uh, I don't have like the two closet separations here. So I will add that as well. Uh, and then here you see, I have an extra line uh, that I don't want or a segment of the poly line. So the way I will get rid of like this portion, this line right here is I will put the mouse on top of the line and then here or on top of the corner and then I'll choose remove vertex. And then this one, I'll get rid of it. And then right here, this one, I'll extend it. And then this one, I'll extend it down. So let's do this. Okay. And then here I will just modify the closet. I showed you the trim command earlier. So I'll use this. And then from the middle here, I will just add line and then I will offset it. I'll offset two and a half, like one time to the top, one time to the bottom, and then a quick trim for both portions. And now I have like the layout for the most part uh, looking good. So again, back to the layout uh, tour washer dryer which is accessible from the from the house versus the garage and then i have a bathroom that is accessible from the bedroom and then i have another bathroom and this is like the guest bathroom that i will give access to the rest of the house to it then we have two closets serving the both bedrooms the one up and down and then we have the master bedroom which is much larger and it has its own walk-in closet and a master bathroom i'll make this master bathroom a little bit bigger uh, but once we get to it and we're adding the fixture and then here I have like the backyard access. I'm gonna put the kitchen here, I'm gonna put the dining and then the living room. And then this is the foyer, like right by the entry, like a quick, uh, you know, rest area or like where you can take off your shoes, put your jacket and so on. And I'm marking the entry from here. So just a quick text recap. Basically, uh, we covered like how to create a text. Uh, I showed you the style manager for the text. And we also went over how to add a frame around it. Uh, and we looked on the properties from the right side where you can actually switch like the current text style and dimension style along with other settings.